today what we're talking about is using Google completely anonymously. Now, when you do a search on Google.com, everyone knows Google gives you the best results. That's just a fact. There are plenty of alternatives, and I love to recommend them. Sites like StartPage, sites like DuckDuckGo, excellent. Same with Ecosia, excellent. Plant a tree, make a search. Great stuff. But the truth of the matter is, when you're doing open source intelligence or you really need to get the right information, a lot of times Google has the resources. It just plain works. So let's talk about using Google completely anonymously. Now when you directly connect to Google, this is what happens. This is you, the client, your web browser. You are connected to the internet and you make a direct connection to this server here. This is Google. I'm going to show you how to do this completely anonymously without having to make a direct connection, without sharing your IP address. Your internet searches on search engines like Google are the most personal things you can ever do. They give away your innermost thoughts. They can give away information about yourself that may lead to assumptions that aren't even true. You know, you could be curious and looking up things, and the search engine or the advertising setup could think that could relate directly to you and make an assumption attaching that to your advertiser ID, which, by the way, I do recommend you reset your Google advertising ID at least once a week. That's another way to help increase your privacy. What we're talking about today, though, is something called Woogle. What is Woogle? Well, Woogle is amazing. Google is a front end for Google that I have started creating lists of where I'm sharing that all on my blog with everyone, the whole public, of course. I'm happy to come up with and maintain these lists for you guys to try and help everyone out. Google is a front end for Google. People are kind enough to host. And what it does is it allows you to actually use an onion address to search Google. Now, not every Woogle is going to be an onion address, but I have mainly sought out the onion addresses. Now, why is that? Well, because when you're dealing with a proxy, the regular .com Woogle addresses are going to do something like this. This is you. You connect to the front end, and that front end serves the Google.com website. What we're doing is something even better. We're using the Tor network to our advantage. We're using an onion address to search Google that serves Google to us, but we stay on the other side. So we have a full several hops in between. For example, let me drop this down and show you how many we have right here. So when I click up here, it's going to show me how many different hops I have in between. This is me. First hop, second hop, third hop, fourth hop, fifth hop, sixth hop and then finally it touches the front end so you have six different computers in between you that are completely randomized randomly chosen circuits and that is a major barrier this is an untraceable search this is how you can untraceably search google.com without actually searching google.com you get the same exact results because it is actually searching it for you behind the tour network as a tour hidden service so i wanted to introduce this today to you guys as i had already introduced the searching anonymously with twitter and youtube which you can check out that post on my blog as well. I went through everything and I also show screenshots of a great add-on you can get for your Pine phone or your Windows device or your Linux computer. It's up to you. You can add this to any device that has a couple different browser options including Firefox. So it's super easy. When you add this to your browser, it'll allow you to customly change the proxying of your searches so it'll automatically redirect you to sites like Google like Knitter for Twitter and like Invidious the front end for actual YouTube so you have this great option here it helps you insulate you and I really wanted to bring attention to the Google front end which I've been collecting 
personally searching the web for all the onions possible. And of course, I am sharing that list with you today. I just updated my proxy list. I haven't done a video on my proxy list post, but it is something I am keeping up to date. I share several different types of proxies on this post. I also tell you what a proxy is. I use graphics to help show you and display what proxies are, and I compare them to regular proxies. And we also go into proxy chains as well. So if you want to learn any of this stuff, feel free to check out the blog at www.buymecoffee.com slash polititechtech. It's completely public to view. You don't have to register to read the posts. And if you'd like, you can follow me there as well. But either way, go ahead and check it out. I also am going to back up some of the posts from there to politictech.wordpress.com. So it's up to you where you want to view. In fact, I also am making the proxy lists on the server I host where I actually have a Git server. So if you want to check out some of my work, I also added free books there today. I've also started a free books so you can check out free programming books, free computer books, free books that I thought might be useful to you. I've uploaded all that stuff today and I'll keep maintaining these proxy lists, book lists, and also YPRI and some of the other scripts that I've written as you can see here. I've shared several of them recently and uh, be sure to check it out. You can read that without registering. You don't have to register for any of that. So I wanted to share that with you today. Try out Google. Check it out. It'll be the most anonymous way you can use Google searches. And I think you'll appreciate it. And then you can just bookmark it. Or you can try that additional add-on called Privacy Redirect, the browser add-on. And when you do your searches, you will be as full six hops away from the Google server. So it'll be the most anonymous, safe way to use Google without ever attaching it to your identity online. Because our IP address is the number one identifier that identifies us on the internet. And we'll go into more identifiers in future videos. Make sure to check out the blog at buymeacoffee.com slash politictech slash posts. And as you can see, I have a lot of NVIDIAs or YouTube front ends, which are all onions. I also have several Knitter front ends, which is Twitter, allowing you to anonymously do open source intelligence search on Twitter without ever exposing your IP address. I've also collected SOX proxies, HTTP proxies. You can learn how to use all of that stuff right on the post. I've done full guides for all of that, including how to use proxy chains. So if you want to learn it here, you can just click learn it here and you can learn how to add that browser and you can actually see the extension in action. And if you want to learn to use proxy chains and you learn to use other types of proxies, you can do that here just by clicking learn it here. Easy as that. So make sure to follow me on PeerTube as well. I haven't shared the PeerTube, cha uh, PeerTube channel as much as I'd like to have. I also have created playlists on there. I, I haven't mentioned my playlists, but I have several of them. If you want to learn about privacy, security, self-hosting, Linux phones, hardware, or Linux. I have all of that there, including news. So check me out on PeerTube. It's a decentralized platform. I really want to suggest I'm going to do a whole video on decentralizing your life. I really suggest we stay away from centralized platforms as much as possible. Not necessarily stay away from them. Use them to our advantage, but make sure that we're not putting our whole life or our our video channel life on just one platform. We need to spread out. We shouldn't be too reliant on any one platform. And that's the name of the game here. So check me out also on Odyssey. I appreciate the follows on there. If you want to check me out over there, I will be uploading all my videos, including some that aren't elsewhere. So check me out on Odyssey. If you want to follow on social media, I'm on Faustodon.org. It's a Mastodon. Uh, instance check me out on there and I have several of my thoughts on different privacy tips security tips and pine phone and Linux advice as well so if you want to check that out I'm at falsedon.org at RTP and also on Twitter at twitter.com slash TV 
privacy. So be sure to follow me. Check out the blog, buymeacoffee.com slash politictech. You don't have to register to read it. It's public for everyone to view. So that's what I have today, guys. wanted to show you how to use Google completely anonymously. I think it's pretty important that we use search engines completely anonymously because of the fact that we may need them for open source intelligence. We may not want to link every single search to our own personal identity. And we all have a right to privacy. That's why I go by RTP, right to privacy. That's what I have today, guys. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on how to protect your privacy.